Well, good Friday evening, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's had a great week, and we're getting back finally, back onto the field. It seems like it's been forever, and boy, do the Cowboys need a, a game and a victory bad, because it's been really a rough two weeks. Typically, it's kind of like when you catch your breath, it seems like things got worse for the Cowboys over the last two weeks. But um, Micah Parsons and Deron Bland are both ruled out for the game. Um, it was a pipe dream to get them back on the field. But the good news is we should be getting reinforcements maybe – next week against Atlanta, and definitely before we play the Eagles. Micah Parsons should be back. Deron Bland should be back. Um, Brandon Cooks should be back as well. So we do have some troops coming, and it's my thing that the Cowboys need to win two of the next three games to save their season. Be that as it may, we've seen Jerry Jones kind of feisty this week, okay? Jerry Jones has been kind of going off the last, actually, you know, since last week, basically saying people that I write checks to shouldn't be questioning him on his decisions and so on. And we've seen him clamping back about um, Mike McCarthy and the play calling that maybe that's the problem and not exactly his um, fault as far as the players on the field. And then there's um, today he's kind of clamping back and saying it's not a distraction, it's not a distraction having people go through and, um, you know, the, the tours are not a distraction. So you've seen Jerry all over the map. He's been, you know, there's nobody better than, than me at being GM and everything else. And, and I've got an interesting theory here. Um, Stephen Jones was asked, I'm, I'm reading an article here. This, this, this actually makes me think a little bit by Julia... Stumba, St Starbo, St Stumbro, Stumbro, okay? If that's not correct, I apologize. I am a name butcher. That's what I do. So people, he was asked about taking over as team's GM in the future. And, and I, I'm going to say maybe I feel a little bit better, but, or, or maybe I don't. Maybe I think I, I understand what's going on here. And correct me if I'm wrong. Dallas Cowboys CEO and uh, Executive Vice President Stephen Jones says the future possibility of taking over his father Jerry Jones' role as general manager is not on his mind. I don't think about it. I don't. I want to enjoy every moment with my father. Stephen Jones said Friday on One of Five The Fan. Uh, um, <clears throat> he's the owner and the president and the GM. I cherish every minute that I've gotten to work with my father. A lot of people don't get that opportunity. I cherish the opportunity. I want to be where my feet are. There's the old saying that Dak likes to use, enjoy what you're doing at the moment. We'll cross the road one day. No one getting out of here alive, the last I checked. At some point, that may be the case, but we'll worry about those things when it happened. I just want to enjoy working with him and being part of something special. I know right now we're frustrated <clears throat> with how our team is competing on the field, but overall we've had a hell of a run and think we got a lot left in us. Okay. It's interesting that he quoted Dak Prescott. That actually says a bit about the relationship between him and Dak Prescott. Jerry, was held, Jerry has held the title of Cowboys general manager for 35 years since purchasing the team in 89 for $150 million. He's turning 82 in October, which has already happened. Jerry Jones has three of his children working in the Cowboys organization, including COO Charlotte uh, Anderson Jones and Chief Sales Marketing Officer Jerry Jones Jr., Jerry Jones was 53 when Stephen jo and Stephen Jones was 31 when the franchise won its recent, most recent, boy, it's not recent, Super Bowl in 96. The Cowboys have not made it back to the NFC Championship game since. Stephen Jones, now 60, seems like the most likely option to succeed his father after he eventually steps away from the organization, especially given the increased front-facing role he has taken in recent years as a liaison between the Cowboys and the media. He also reportedly had influential scenes, uh, 
influence behind the scenes of some of the Cowboys' free agency and draft decisions, including the signing of cornerback Deion Sanders. We remember, he didn't want to sign Deion. Uh, the choice draft Zach Martin over Johnny Manziel um, in 2014, and the decision led to Marcus Ware walk that same year per David Moore of, of uh, Dallas Morning News. When speaking to Moore in June, Stevens said the succession plan was hard for the team to talk about, but we, uh, but we do it. And I think it's going to be very well done in a way our fans deserve, Stephen Jones told Moore. That's where I want to stop for a second. This is where I think there's an exit to the off-ramp. So you think about it. Jerry's been owner, CEO, and general uh, president, and general manager. Could it be that right now, because the Cowboys are worth $10.3 billion, $3 billion more than the last franchise, that he has gone into the Hall of Fame, that He's won three Super Bowls. He bought something that was losing $2 million a month and made it into a mega business. That when we think about players that have had incredible careers like, say, Tom Brady, we always say they deserve to go out the way they want to because of what they have meant to the organization. Even though you look at it and you know, he ain't playing that good anymore. That his time has passed him by. Is this Stephen Jones allowing Jerry to be Jerry in the twilight years? And when I hear him say, I think we're going to be very, it's, oh, and I think it's going to be very well done and in a way that our fans deserve. Could that be that Stephen looks at it and says, I'm not Jerry. I can be owner, but I don't know about being owner, president, and GM. And that maybe, just maybe, when he says something the fans will be happy with, that it is that he looks and says, Will McClay, you're the GM. Or that they put somebody in that position to be that person. That Stephen Jones won't be Jerry Jones. I, I'm, I'm, I'm giving plausible deniability. I don't know what's going to happen. This is me trying to read between the lines and trying to at least be hopeful that what's going on right now is Jerry Jones being Jerry. And he's all over the map. But because he has done everything to make the Cowboys them boys, that they're allowing him to go out with the way he wants to go out. Um, that's at least my interpretation of Stephen basically saying, I've cherished my time with Jerry and I'm not rushing this to end. And, and I, I, I have to agree with that too because none of us are promised tomorrow and nobody knows how much time uh, we have. And so this is one of those times that maybe this is Whatever you say, Jerry, you know, we, we're not questioning you at this point. You know, we're not throwing you against the wall and saying, this is a mistake, Jerry. You know, we're not going to treat you like you're an old man that's a has-been. Go sit in the corner or lock him in the closet. Because without Jerry, there is no Cowboys. And I don't know if that gives you hope um, or not for the future. I I don't know. Um, it, it makes me think that maybe I, I don't want to think about Jerry being gone. I don't, I don't want to think. I, I don't like thinking about my own mortality, much less anybody else's. But it makes me think that when that time does come, that maybe it's not going to be just Stephen Jones just stepping in solely and doing exactly what Jerry Jones has done. Maybe. I don't know. Give me your thoughts here. And I'm going to touch on this a little bit more during our live stream tonight at 9 o'clock Eastern. And I hope to see you there. Peace out, people.